So, hi everyone, welcome to the Science Addicted channel. I am a pharmacist by education with a passion for computational chemistry and data science. And today I'm going to talk about what is molecular docking in the world of chem informatics. As a disclaimer, I would like to highlight that this is just an introduction video. So molecular docking is a method which predicts the preferred binding position of one molecule, which is usually called the ligand, to a second one, which is usually called the receptor. Docking uh, can be done with uh, small ligand molecules, like the one presented here, but can also be done with peptides, peptidomimetics, RNA, DNA, the possibilities are really diverse, but the bigger the ligand, uh, the more challenging it is to achieve trustworthy and accurate docking results. Receptors, on the other hand, are 3D structures of proteins, which are usually published in the protein uh, data bank. But sometimes the 3D structure of the protein uh, we want to uh, study is not available and in these cases we can do homology modeling uh, which is um, on its own a whole uh, different topic. So let's clarify that uh, docking um, is a computational method um, that uh, has become a widely used drug discovery to tool especially in the academic communities um, due to its relatively low cost and uh, also because of the perceived simplicity of use. Molecular methods have uh, two key components. On one hand, the, the searching algorithm and uh, the, on the other hand, the scoring function. So these two components work hand in hand to find the most stable binding conformation of the two partners. So, um, so the searching algorithm uh, for clarity, let's define that it is the component that it is responsible for exploring the searching space by making systematic changes to the molecules uh, orientation and conformation. There may um, there are many searching algorithms de developed, uh, some are more precise than others, but uh, all of them are meant to search within the conformational space for the more stable um, complex between the two partners. Scoring function, on the other hand, evaluates, or as the name says, scores the ligand conformations generated by the search algorithm. So searching function oftentimes look intimidating at the first glance, but uh, really it is merely composed by uh, summing basic bonding and uh, non-bonding parameters of uh, the two molecules composing the uh, complex. So to really understand and analyze the obtained results, it is important to be familiar with the scoring functions of the docking software we use. Most scoring functions are very similar in concept, but uh, have different levels of simplifications and differ, um, different variation of molecular mechanic mechanics force field um, that are used and estimate the energy of the pose um, within the binding site. So the complexes calculated using molecular docking techniques can be more or less stable depending on various factors, but the binding affinity calculated with the scoring function uh, can be a good uh, indicator of the binding strength and the stability. Usually, a um, high negative value indicates a strong binding energy between the investigated ligand and the receptor. A positive value, on the other hand, would mean artifact, clash or repulsion between the atoms of participating molecules in the docking experiment. However, um, a positive scoring value, it is um, highly unlikely. Uh, docking programs are fairly robust in this regard and they will eliminate any unrealistic poses uh, from the final list of ligand solutions. 
So after calculating the binding position between the ligand and the receptor, the main purpose of, uh, is to uh, study the interaction between the molecules at a precise atomic level. And in this way, docking methods allow screening of entire libraries, um, which uh, with a much lower cost than lab exper experiments and also allow a precise doc development and uh, lead optimization. I really hope you found this introductory course uh, useful and I can't wait to see you on my uh, next video which is planned to be some practical tips and tricks on how to set up a docking experiment and how to evaluate um, the results. Thank you!